Like, for example, I mentioned like the, the easement, the billboard easement thing, right? Do you guys know what easements are? E A S M E N T. Here, let me. A S. Do you guys, I, I put it in the chat just now. Do you know what that is? Easement? Oh, uh, yeah. So, no. so easements are incredible. And they're like the, like, this is something that you could really, uh, like, th I think this is applies in like all countries or whatever too. Like, um, if you have a lot of money and you basically don't know what to spend it on, like, let's say in the future, you know, when we're all, we have a ton of money and we just want to like, uh, put it into good assets and you don't know what to do with it. Just buy a bunch of easements, just buy them up because the way that it works is like this. Let's say I have a, uh, uh, you know, a gas station, right? Or some, some like restaurant or something. Somebody can come to me and they say, Hey, I want to buy an easement on your property, the property that you own. I want to buy an easement on it for this like tiny little area. And I own the property. That's like, you know, a large, a large square. They want a little tiny square on the little corner. What they can do is they could buy what's called an easement. And what that means is they have the right to use that little area of my property as if they owned it. And that's like the agreement that we sign, right? And so let's say I buy a property for, you know, $300,000. Sometimes companies will literally come to you. Like this happened to a person I know. They, ha they bought a Little Caesars uh, for like $700,000, a restaurant. For, uh, it's not like the person I know personally, but I, I'm, I got acquainted. I like, I met them one time. Um, they bought a Little Caesars for like $700,000. I um, mean, they run it like that's like their business, you know, like they they manage it, they do all that stuff like it's their main money making thing. And what a, a person did is a person came up to them a few years ago and they said, hey, I want to put a billboard on your property. I want to buy an easement. All we're going to do is take this tiny little parking spot that you have here and we're going to buy this parking spot. Everything else you get to keep and we're going to give you five hundred thousand dollars for it. And that's it, like $500,000, just straight up $500,000. And like that person was who owned their Little Caesars was like, wow, this is incredible. I paid $700,000 for the whole property. I get to keep almost all of it. And I'm getting, I'm getting a $500,000 discount basically. And so that person put a billboard on that property. You know how much money that billboard makes? $30,000 a month, every single month. That's how much money that billboard makes. And here's the crazy thing. That guy never bought the property. He bought an easement. And the way that easements work is you get to keep it forever. And because you're not the owner of the actual property, you don't have to pay any property tax. You're not liable for anything. If a crime happens on that property, you're not responsible. The person who owns the property is responsible. They take all the liability and you get all the benefit. And in fact, because it's uh, the contract in the contract, it's written as if you you use it as if you own it. If they wanted to kick you off the property, they say, hey, get off the property. You could go. No. In fact, you get off my property. You're on my easements right now. And you could kick them off your piece of land. They're not allowed to do anything to your easement. And you don't have to pay property tax. If the thing goes under foreclosure and they fail to pay property taxes or the government takes it or whatever, it doesn't matter what happens you keep that property and it stays with you forever. It's not even a lifetime thing. It'll be transferred onto your kids and their kids. And it literally lasts forever. There's no cost after the one time buying. That's why people are willing to pay so much for it. And I'm sure you guys know about Donald Trump. The thing is, Donald Trump became a billionaire in real estate through a few methods like this, because you could be a millionaire in real estate if you work, you know, if you work super hard for like five years, you know, you could be a multimillionaire, you could have like $10 million in the bank, but you'll never be a billionaire in real estate. The way you become a, the way you become a billionaire in real estate is you have to innovate. You have to find some uh, loophole. You have to find something that people are not doing and execute on that. You can't just do what everybody else is doing and just, you know, being an agent and making $20,000 here and there and here and there. You have to find a way to make $20 million, $200 million. You have to find a way to really innovate and change the industry. And what Donald Trump did is he actually exploited the easement system. He would buy parking spots for himself. He would buy rooms in buildings just for himself. He would do all this stuff and he would like, he didn't even have any plan for it. 
he just took like loans and would just buy easements with it. And what would happen is someone would come along and they would go, I want to buy this property from someone. And they'd go, they check the, uh, you know, the title, they check the documents uh, with the state that you can order. And they would see, whoa, 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 wait, there's an easement on here. What's this? And then they would go to Donald Trump and they would go, wait, uh, I want to buy your easement from you. And Donald Trump would go to these people who didn't know any better. You know, let's say someone buys a house for $300,000. He would go to them and say, hey, I want to buy the land, you know, uh, 50 feet underneath your backyard for $100,000. And it's like, they're never going to touch that land. So they're going, yeah, absolutely. Sure, take it. Free money, basically. But you know what happens? When the oil company comes along and they say, Hey, uh, we're detecting that there may be oil under your backyard. Uh, we want to buy the mineral rights. We want to buy the rights to the all the land underneath your house. And we want to buy your whole property as well. And we want to buy that as well. Um, these people will go, yeah, sure, you can buy my house uh, for a million dollars or however much you're willing to buy it for. And then the oil company will go, wait a second, we can't drill in here. Somebody else owns the easements. Even if we buy the property, they can buy the property and they still can't access it because they don't own that little area of land anymore. They, they've given the contract to somebody else. Even when a new owner comes, whoever owns the easement owns that easement. And all Donald Trump did was buy a sliver of land that you know the homeowner thought they were never going to use. And they didn't. But now the oil company goes to Donald Trump and they say, hey, we want this. Donald Trump replies, okay, pay me $20 million. And Donald Trump maybe paid like a thousand, ten thousand dollars maybe for that easement. And he just kept on doing this over and over and over again. He would buy like random, you know, like slots in the air. He would buy pieces of the air, basically. Um, and then, you know, maybe 10 years down the line, someone would come up to him and they would go, hey, uh, we're trying to build a power line over here. Like huge companies would come to him and they'd go, we're trying to build a power line, but you own an easement blocking us. And he would go, yeah, I bought that easement for like uh, 20 bucks. Um, you could buy it back for, you know, 20 million. You know, and he would just keep doing this. And in fact, there's still so many Donald Trump's easements today that people are still having so much trouble with. I literally looked into it, like, because I, I heard from the people that I used to work with that uh, they're building a baseball stadium in, in Georgia, uh, like about 30 minutes away from where I live. They're building a baseball stadium. And what happened was, is as they were building it, you know, this is like a huge, like $100 million project. And it's not people that I know, but they, you know, it's big news over here. So they heard about it. And so they were talking about it. They're like, oh my God, they're building a baseball stadium. They had to stop construction because randomly in the air, they saw that Donald Trump owned like a few square feet in the air and they just couldn't build there. It was like a really thin sliver of the air. And so they couldn't build and they had to go buy the property again from Donald Trump. And they bought it for, I don't know how much, like someone told me it was like $16 million. They paid Donald Trump for that. He still owns so many to the point where if you look this up, you'll literally find like a uh, GoFundMe's and, uh, you know, like people like going online saying, hey, can you raise money? Because I accidentally made a bad deal in the past and I want to buy back this easement from Donald Trump and he won't sell it for anything less than $10 million. And there are literally people asking for money, like trying to raise funds online. There's actually a, a fundraiser online to buy back all of Donald Trump's easements. Like it's a huge, huge deal now. And he took advantage of this way back then. That's how someone becomes like the next Donald Trump in real estate. <clears throat> and like, you know, say what you want about Donald Trump, right? At the end of the day, you know, regard, love him or hate him, he became a billionaire off of real estate. Very few people do that without having some sort of deeper knowledge of the system. That's what he did. That's what a lot of, a lot of like, uh, you know how they say like, you guys ever heard the stereotype of how like a bunch of Indians own all the gas stations and like, all over the place, like all the gas stations are owned by Indian people. They're all ran by Indian people. That's because Indian people, like the Indian immigrants that came a long time ago, found another exploit like this, not with easements, but like another exploit in the real estate law. And it's, it doesn't work anymore, but they would exploit this to get more and more gas station properties and pay very little for them. And so that's, that's really how it's done. And I'm good at like coming up with these kinds of ideas. I'm good at finding these kinds of exploits and things. That's like really what my expertise in any anything that I, I get into I'm always able to come up with like really good ideas but yeah we gotta we gotta start working on things that um that don't have you know cost so much to start up because now people know about easements and now 
Nobody will ever sell you an easement for anything cheap anymore. Um, and besides, you can't even build real estates in Georgia. You, ca you can't even build a uh, billboards in Georgia anymore. There's already too many. They, they completely banned them now. So there's restrictions. And these are all ideas that we can do after we have a lot of money. I have a lot of ideas, but they're all things we could do after we already have a lot.